for some communities. Today we are going to look at a sun salutation B. So we've done our A. Uh, what you normally do is do like maybe four to six Surya Namaskars or sun salutation A's, then you move on to your B's. So again, I'm going to break it down for you and then we'll do a few together. So again, finding a nice mountain pose so your feet can be together or hip distance apart. For this one, I recommend having your feet hip distance apart just for balance. So again, remember you can check by taking two fists, popping them in between your feet. That's a good measure of hip distance. Crown of the head pulling up towards the sky, so that's the top of your head. Your tailbone is tucked under, so you're not sticking your bum out. And your lower ribs are knitted together. Nice. Your palms shine forward. And then on an inhale for this one, we're going to sit the bum down like you're sitting in a chair and the hands go towards the sky. Now, note, I keep my tailbone tucked under, so I don't want to be here. I want to keep it tucked and I'm lifting through my chest. My knees are in line with the feet, so they've not knocked in. And the weight is in the heels, so I should be able to pick up all 10 toes and give them a wriggle. And then from here, I'm going to exhale, straighten through the legs, fold forward. Again, if you need to bend through the knees, you can. This time I'm going to inhale back into my halfway lift, so my hands might come to my shins or I might come to fingertips this time. Either way, I'm still making the spine nice and long. Then I'm going to exhale to fold and I'm going to step back to my plank position. So my options again are to do knees, chest, chin like we did in our A or we can lower through a chaturanga. So the shoulders come slightly forward of the wrists. We bend up in the elbows, remember they go behind us, not out to the sides, and we come halfway down. Then we pull the chest through and find our upward facing dog. So if this is too much, remember, you can be here in your cobra. Otherwise, if you're in your upward facing dog, you're lifting off the mat. So note my knees and thighs are lifted. The tops of my feet are pushing down. And I'm lifting through the chest and looking towards the sky. And I'm not collapsing my shoulders, I'm pushing the ground away. And then from here, two options. So either you tuck the toes, bend the knees and scoop the bum towards the heels to find your down dog, or we lift the hips and roll over the toes to find a downward facing dog. From here, we're gonna step the right foot forward. So the knee pulls in towards the chest and the shoulders come over the wrist. And then we place the foot down in between the hands. If we need to grab it and put it there, that is fine. Then we're gonna turn down the back heel and inhale to lift up into a warrior one pose. So in my warrior one, my hips and chest are pointing forward. But we'll come back to this when we're doing it all together. So we're gonna exhale to hinge forward, step it back, and then knees, chest, chin, or that lower into up dog, into down dog. And then we do the same on the left, but let's do it all together. So finding that nice Tadasana, legs are strong, Heads pulling up towards the sky. Inhale to sit the bum down. Find your chair pose. And then exhale to hinge forward. Remember, you can keep a bend through the knees or straighten through the legs. Inhale to come to your halfway lift so you can have your hands on your shins or be on your fingertips. And then we're gonna exhale to fold, stepping back. Find that plank position. Knees, chest, chin, or lower down through your chaturanga. Stay nice and strong as you pull through into your upward facing dog. Now make sure that the tops of the feet are pushing down. We don't want the toes tucked because that puts stress on our lower back. So it's the tops of the feet. And then we're gonna make our way back to the downward facing dog. From here, let's start on the right hand side. So I'm gonna pull that right knee in towards my chest. My shoulders are gonna come over my wrists and then I'm gonna place the foot down. Again, if I need to grab it and put it there, I do. And then I'm gonna turn down the back heel and inhale to lift up into my warrior one. So in my warrior one, I want my hips and my chest pointing forward. So I might need to take that right foot out to the right, and I might need to shorten my stance and rotate my back toes in, so they're sort of pointing on a diagonal. That's gonna let me pull right hip back, push left hip forward. The back heel is down, and the hands are reaching towards the sky. On your exhale, we hinge forward, frame that front foot, step it back, and we do what's called a vinyasa. So knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhaling into your low cobra or up dog. Exhaling back to your down dog. Let's take that on the other side. So we're gonna pull that left knee in towards the chest. Your shoulders come over the wrists. Exhale to place the foot down. 
Toe down the back heel, but the toes point diagonally out front. And we lift up into our warrior one. So remember, hips and chest pointing forward. So you might want to take that left foot out to the left. You might want to rotate the back toes in. If the heel is lifted, step the foot in a bit. And again, finding that nice, strong warrior one. And then we exhale to hinge forward. So we'll do it this way this time. Exhale to hinge forward. Step back, knees, chest, chin, or Chaturanga Dandasana into either your low cobra or your up dog. And then rolling over, finding your downward facing dog. From here, we inhale to look forward and we exhale to either step, hop, or lightly jump towards the hands. So if we're jumping, it's really light and controlled, nice silent landing. Inhale back into your halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to refind your chair pose. So sit the bum down again. And then exhale, come to standing. Let's do one more of them all together so it's longer than the A. So we need to, we don't need to do as many because there's two parts to it because we need to do the right leg and the left leg. So find your nice standing position. Inhale to sit the bum down, find your chair pose. Exhale to hinge forward. Inhale, either hands to shins or come to your fingertips, halfway lift. Exhale to fold, stepping back, find that plank position. And then knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Inhaling into your low cobra or your up dog. Remember, in the up dog, your thighs, your legs are lifted off the mat. And then exhaling back to your down dog. From here, the right knee pulls in towards the chest. The shoulders come over the wrist and we place the foot down. Turn down the back heel, lifting up into our warrior one. So remember, hips and chest square, so they're pointing directly out in front. So I'm gonna work that back foot in slightly and take my right foot out to the right so I can square my hips and my chest. And then I'm gonna exhale, hinge forward, freeing that front foot, step it back, vinyasa. Beautiful. Let's take that on the other side. So I'm gonna pull that left knee in towards the chest. The shoulders come over the wrist, place the foot down. So again, if you need to grab it and put it there, fine. Turn down the back heel, lifting up, warrior one. So have a feel of what your hips are doing. I'm gonna take my left foot out to the left. I'm gonna shorten my stance. I'm gonna take my back toes in to help me pull that left hip back as I push that right hip forward. Then I'm gonna to exhale to hinge forward, frame that front foot, step it back, Vinyasa, so knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhaling into your low cobra or your up dog. Exhaling back to your down dog. Then I'm gonna inhale, look forward in between the hands. Exhale to step, hop or lightly jump towards the top of the mat, so really quiet landing. I'm gonna make sure my feet are hip distance apart. Inhale into my halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to refine that chair pose, sit the bum down. And then exhale back to your Tadasana. So that was your Surya Namaskar B, your Sun Salutation B. So if you combine the Bs with the As, then you've got a really nice warm up sequence, linking movement with breath, getting a nice little stretch as well. Hope you enjoyed, see you again soon. Bye.